hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech so we created the routing of any oxygen os 13 or oxygen s 12 version few days back in that video i told the release of video how to update your not to manually to the oxygen s 13 using the root access from few days i was testing that method and today we are going to discuss how you can manually update your not to to the oxygen s 13 beta version manually your device must be on the Oxygen S13 C tail or the C13 build with the root access. You can follow my routing video given under the video description and in the iCard to root your Oxygen S13 build. Please keep your data and the Wafa network off during whole the process. Download some of these files from the links given under the video description, which includes the full Oxygen S13 F20 OTA build and com opelus OTA.zip file. Your device must not be registered for the Oxonus 13 beta program. Remember follow as it is shown in the video, single wrong step may break your device. I also can't guarantee this process may work or may not work. Follow this process on your own responsibility. If something goes wrong, then you are not responsible for anything. As I am beta tester, I can't able to use this process. I just shown the guide how to update manually. You have to test it yourself and let us know in the comment section is it working for you or not. Now without further ado, let's get started. First download this root explorer application from the play store its link is given under the video description. Install it open and give the root access to the application. Now in the app you will see the root files on the left side and the storage of the phone on the right side. Tap on the root search for the data folder under that you will see the ot underscore package folder. Under that you will see the ot named folder tap on it if nothing we will find under that folder. Then create another folder by tapping the plus icon there write the name of folder as dot ota package. The name of folder should be same as you can check on the screen there should not be any mistake in that. Now tap on the storage there search for the downloaded file that you taken from the links given under the video description. There rename the OTA file to the name as you can check on the screen or you can also copy paste the name given under the video description and save the file. Once again remember there should not be any mistake in this name. Now long press on it and copy the file and paste it under the root data OTA and inside the new folder we created earlier that is the dot OTA package. Now again go to the storage there from the downloaded files unzip the com o plus OTA dot zip file. You will get the com o plus OTA folder inside that you will get the same name of folder and some other files under that. Once confirmed now go to the root file search for the data folder. Again search for the another data folder under that search for the com.oplus.ota file. Delete that complete folder. Now go to the storage and copy the unzipped folder com.oplus.ota and paste that under the root data folder where you previously deleted the same file. Once done check if that folder properly pasted and available under the data folder of the root files. Now go to the settings and there go for the application search for the app management. Tap on the three dot menu then tap show system now search for the software update tap on it and then tap on the force close. Remember during this whole process never enable the data connection or don't connect to any Wafa net connection keep them off. Enable the developer option if you didn't enable it then go to the about phone then tap on the version then tap 8 times on your build number this will enable the developer setting. Now reboot the device. Once phone boots back, then go to the about phone, then tap on the software update, then tap 3 dot menu, then tap on the install tab and flashing of new Oxygen S13 beta F20 will start directly. Phone will reboot to the recovery and take 5 to 10 minutes to flash. After flashing, device may stuck at black screen for 5 to 10 minutes. Don't panic at this stage. Don't touch the phone. It will reboot automatically to the Oxygen S13 beta F20. Later you can update your device to the Oxonus F21 OTA using the software update. Remember if you are already registered to the beta program then flashing will not start. It will redirect to the file manager to manually select the file and this process will fail so you must be not registered for the beta program. 
that's it for today guys follow this process if you are really want to do adventurous things like me if this video help you then please do like and share this video subscribe to channel press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye